What are your feelings on Shane Bowers? Well, we're really excited to get the kid. He's a, he's, he's a quality kid. He's a character kid. That's the first thing. Uh, as soon as you, you watch him a couple of shifts, you already know that. Uh, he's a kid that uh, competes at both ends of the ring. So we're excited about that. Uh, and he's, he's a kid that got 20-some goals in the USHL, which is not an easy feat. Uh, going to BU next year, good program. Uh, so we're really excited about where it's, where it's going to go for him. And, you know, it's a, another, uh, another centerman uh, that has lots of upside. So we're excited. He's a big kid, too, eh? Like yeah, there's, I mean, there's, yeah. You can't ignore his size. No, I can't ignore the size, and and he, uh, you know, he first thing he said, he goes, I can't, ex I can't wait to get started to, to, to fill out a little bit more. That's that was one of the things he said when he got down to the table. So he's already excited about the opportunity. Uh, he knows that he has the opportunity to get a little bit bigger and stronger, and and uh, you know, and, and then you kind of see where it goes from there. What so. What did you like about him specifically? Well, you know, when you when you watch it, there he does so many things well. That's that's the part that you like about the game. You know, like he. Uh, uh, you know, he takes key face-offs at both ends of the rink. He, you know, he, he, he competes in those hard areas. He can shoot the puck. He can make plays. Um, you know, he's, he back checks hard. Like, he just the, the constant compete uh, and, and want, wanting to win the puck battles. I mean, that's, it. That, that's always the part that you leave the game thinking, that kid just, every shift, every shift he brings that. So. Like, I asked him about this, but... It, it's a bit of a strange era for a Canadian kid to go to the USHL. Or yeah, like, yeah, he, 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 he had the choice. You must have known him because he was in your backyard. Well, I, I, I know, I, I knew of him. Like he, he yeah. I mean, he was taken in the, in the Quebec League, so he, he was, uh, he was a high pick uh, by Kate Brenton in the Quebec League. Uh, didn't report because he went to Waterloo, for, and then he got, and then the next year he got drafted by St. John. Um, and St. John had some changes within their organization. Anyway, I don't know the, the whole detail of why, but he had an opportunity to go to, to, go to some good schools. He had some, some choice, um, some of the top hockey schools in the NCAA. He chose BU, and, and really, you know, BU kind of speaks for itself. Uh, they produced some pretty good hockey players, so... What do you? What does he have to improve at that level? You know? uh, well, I think once once his uh, his physical strength improves, uh, I, I think that'll that'll again be, allow him to go to the next level. Um, I, I think at, on the offensive side of the uh, uh, offensive offensive side of the puck, I think he'll have to to make some uh, some. some different decisions maybe at times with the puck uh, he, he likes to pass the puck you know almost to a fault uh, but he scored 20 some goals and the and, and so once he gets stronger and he has more confidence in his shot I think that'll be uh, an easy an easy one for him to kind of correct how was the experience after round one and was there a lot of calls was there yeah it, well they were, early on it was pretty quiet uh, but as we get to the towards the, the second part of the draft and there's calls coming with different teams offering some different scenarios and, and we looked at each one and uh, there was a couple things that were that were close that we were really looking at but uh, at the end of the day uh, the player we really liked was still there and, uh, and and other things just didn't materialize which is not uncommon but you know we, we looked at each one and, and and try to do as best as the Ottawa Senators right now we feel we took the best player uh, that was available at that time. So. So you move now into uh, day two tomorrow. What's the plan for tomorrow? Well, we have a we have a mid second round pick. We have Calgary second round pick. Uh, at 47. So uh, so that's a good start. We still think we can get a pretty good player at 47. Uh, you know, will we entertain things? Definitely. I think there'll be some some options tomorrow. Whether they materialize as well. I mean, we'll see what happens. But uh, but right now we still think we can get a pretty good player at 47, and, and we'll we'll work work from there. So.